your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. This is NNS Total Sports, your source for sports in the North. Good evening all, I'm Ramiko Knowles. Topping sports and softball action this weekend, the Rising Stars Youth Development Softball League hosting a tournament at the Amera Baseball Park on Independence Day to raise funds and awareness to fight cancer and promote healthy lifestyle. Organizers say they are looking to strike out cancer. All proceeds will be donated to the Grand Bahama Cancer Society. On July 10, we will take to the softball diamond with three games on that day, commencing at 1 p.m. with the parents of Rising Stars at 2.30. The coaches of Rising Stars will host the immigration enforcers in a one-pitch game. At 4 p.m., the Rising Stars alumni will host the present players in a fast-pitch game. A $5 fee will be charged to anyone who gets strikeout. Many of us have persons whose lives have been touched by cancer. We know that it's rampant in the society and affect the world. So now we're able to take a fun sport and we're able to raise money to donate to the Cancer Society. We want to encourage the public to come out and be a part of this um, fun day with us on Saturday. It's for a good cause, a worthy cause, and all proceeds will go towards the Cancer Society. President of the Grand Bahama Cancer Society, Wardrina Wright, expressing thanks. Um, for me, it's a great thing, a great happening for the Grand Bahama Cancer Society and Rising Stars, considering us to be the donor of whatever funds are raised from the strikeout. So for that, we say a big thank you to the Rising Stars. Still on the diamond, the Grand Bahama Amateur Softball Association also enacted this Independence Day for the launch of the Churchill Tenor Knowles One Pitch Co-Ed Softball Tournament. I'm actually very surprised of how many copper teams are interested this year. We have some new persons who have never actually graced the field with their presence, like Third Dimension, um, Grand Bahama, Power Company, they're going in as corporate also regulators, along with Alive, the RAN. We have quite a number of corporate teams, about eight corporate teams that's already registered. So it's one pitch, and I cannot see anyone going to the plate and standing up waiting for a ball. You, you must swing because if you don't swing, it's a strike, you're out. Like uh, the president said, either you take it or you leave it. It's up to you. Um, we're looking to have a fun, clean tournament. The Hall of Famer says it feels great to be recognized. I, I appreciate it. The only thing uh, people do for you, um, especially in a case like this, you appreciate it. You know, and, um, you know, I, I have um, been involved in softball for longer than I can remember. Start time is at 10 a.m. A home run derby will also take place. Finally in sports, DeAndre Ayton and the Phoenix Suns looking to take Game 2 of the NBA Finals, which takes place tonight. The Suns are coming off of a 118-105 victory in Game 1, where DeAndre Ayton netted 22 points and nabbed 19 rebounds. Game 3 is set for Sunday, July 11th. But Suns in 4. That is your check on sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Ramiko Knowles. Until next time, make it a great one.